Many incredible painters have made themselves known throughout history, and at first glance their paintings are just beautiful works of art. But it isn't until we take a closer look that some pieces of artwork begin to reveal their secrets. For example, one of the most famous ones is that of Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Possibly one of the most sought-after pieces in the art world is that of the masterpiece by Leonardo da Vinci, known as the Mona Lisa. Valued at more than 800 million US dollars by today's standards, the piece is often at the center of most discussions regarding the realm of the golden age of the Renaissance, and the dedication the old masters had to any one particular piece of art. Interestingly, as Leonardo da Vinci worked on the masterpiece, he hid several different symbols and codes that took art enthusiasts decades to find. It appears that the old master left several different letters and numbers hidden throughout the painting. When viewing the piece under a microscope, Italian scholars discovered the letters LV hidden in the Mona Lisa's right eye, and the letters CE in the left eye. Additionally, the bridge in the background landscape of the painting bears the inscription 72, and a hidden date that starts with 149, but leaves the last number completely scratched out. Although researchers believe the larger number to represent the year in which the piece was originally started, no one knows what these other numbers and letters hidden throughout the painting could mean. It was after these discoveries that people started to comb through other paintings, in the hopes of finding other undiscovered secrets. It turns out that others do have strange markings and symbols, but one that's interested many people is that of Dutch Renaissance artist Peter Brigel. The painting in question shows a battle, but it's what's in the background that's caught people's attention. Those who look closely have claimed they can see people riding dinosaurs, and that whatever these creatures are they don't resemble modern day animals. Some have noted how the dinosaur looking creatures look out of place, and have noted that only three of them can be seen in the painting. One of the reasons these creatures have only been spotted recently is because they are towards the back of the painting, and you can only really see them when you're up close. It's important to note that during the 16th century there were no dinosaurs, with scientists saying that dinosaurs were wiped out around 65 million years ago by a massive event, most likely a giant asteroid that made contact with our planet and set off a chain of events. This then caused some to suggest that the creatures in the painting are horses, but this doesn't add up as horses can be seen in the painting, and there's obvious differences between the two. Others put forward the idea these creatures are actually camels, with one person saying the following. Although these creatures do look interesting, what we're most likely seeing here is camels. Camel cavalry is the term used when forces use camels in battle, these are definitely not dinosaurs, even though I can see why people would think this. Also, the size of the creatures matches that of a camel. End quote. Many people that believe these creatures are dinosaurs are those of young life creationists. This is a religious belief that the Earth and all life on it was created in a lateral six day span, and that all life found cannot date back more than 6,000 years. Their basic idea was that the bones of dinosaurs that were found were those that died during the flood. Because this wasn't long ago, they state that a few rare dinosaurs, including flying avian ancient species, could have survived in the modern era. In regards to Noah's Ark, creation museums say that dinosaurs were also housed on the Ark, and they were protected by God. However, surprisingly, there are some skeptics. Historians say that dinosaurs didn't die 6,000 years ago, and the idea of there being a great flood is debatable. Scientists do believe that at one point in time water levels did rise, and they say this happened because the remains of various ancient civilizations have been found underwater. The state that the idea of there being a massive flood that submerged mountains didn't happen, stating that there simply isn't enough water on this planet to do something like that. Believers in this theory state that a great flood did happen, and that there's even evidence that human and dinosaurs coexisted. One of the locations that allegedly proves this idea is that of the Paluxy River, 
This can be found near Glen Rose, Texas. It was during the 1930s that this discovery came to light, and which caused many at the time to question whether humans and dinosaurs lived during the same time. If this turned out to be true, such a finding would dramatically contradict the conventional geologic timetable, which holds that humans did not appear on Earth until over 60 million years after the dinosaurs became extinct. However, the human and dinosaur tracks have been debunked by scientists, as they claim that what people are seeing is actually dinosaur tracks. The supposed tracks do at first glance look like that of a human's. However, scientists have said the most likely answer is that these are metatarsal dinosaur tracks, or even carvings. These creations are made by bipedal dinosaurs, and we get these impressions when these dinosaurs press their heels and soles into the mud. Mud flow would then fill in some of the surrounding area, causing it to look similar to that of a human footprint. They say these types of footprints can be found in other formation where tracks are found. Regardless, scientists haven't won over everyone, as there's still some that state that what we're seeing is in fact a human footprint, and the idea of it being dinosaurs was put forward to keep people quiet. These people aren't alone though, as many reports from different countries have stated they have proof of dinosaurs, and some of these come in the form of eyewitness accounts, and even carvings found in old temples. Although similar answers are given for these discoveries, Others believe that certain places on our planet still hold proof that humans once walked the planet with dinosaurs. Various stories are still being told of people encountering prehistoric looking creatures, with even early explorers backing up these claims. It seems that all the time these types of discoveries are being made, people are still going to believe in this idea. So what do you guys make of this painting? And what do you think the artist is trying to depict? Also, although scientists say that man and dinosaur never lived on the planet during the same time, do you think they did? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.